Hey everybody, I has a box. And for the sake of transparency, I'm supposed to tell you right here from the start that I got this box from Warner Brothers for content creation purposes. But if we're gonna be transparent here, let's be transparent. Because the person who approached me offering to send me this box, it's actually from a marketing and promotions company, not Warner Brothers, and actually represented his or herself as an agent of Lego. <sighs> Corporate conspiracy. Anyway, Warner Brothers, the major partner, major backer, major everything behind all of the major motion pictures for Lego. And the key thing here is that they sent me this box. I didn't pay for it. I don't even know what's inside. But because I didn't pay for it, you know that I'm not going to be reviewing the things that are inside. However, I can show you the things that are inside and I can certainly use them. And I will be doing just that. Now, I have not opened this box. I, I have no idea what's inside other than the, I have an expectation that there will be at least one Lego Ninjago movie related set. Whoa, whoa, uh, huh. This is, Interesting. That's kind of cool, actually. I always do something different with the uh, with the setups for these boxes. That's actually a cool scene to use as a backdrop or something. Wait a minute. We've got these all around. Wait, does this side open? Mm, maybe this side does not open. But the other side, the other large side, has an opening flap. Yep. That's pretty cool. I like it. Okay, but it's not about the box, is it? Let me get this back around to the other side. This thing is pretty large and unwieldy, and it looks like it's got little paint chips that are getting on my nice white surface below here. Uh, greetings from a faraway land. Uh, it's from Warner Brothers, even though it's actually not from Warner Brothers. You know, it's on behalf of Warner Brothers, anyway. Uh, yeah, we're not telling you what to do with this but make sure that people know that you didn't pay for it. Good. I like the big push for transparency and honesty that's coming ultimately from regulatory agencies and legal departments who don't want to get sued for paying people to say things or getting the appearance of paying people to say things when, you know, you're supposed to be honest. About stuff. So that's, that's all, whoa, okay. So that's all good and I'm already seeing Lego movie sets in here, a Lego Ninjago movie, Lego sets in here, but I'm also seeing a bunch of stuff that is nothing like what I was expecting. Okay, this is actually a, a cool little, little uh, grab bag of all sorts of stuff. This is one of those LEDs, which I've never had. Hey, there we go. Uh, do both legs light up? I think I see a light coming from the other. Yeah, it looks like both legs light up. I've never had one of these before. Uh, I've, I've seen them in stores, but I've never, I've never even touched one. So that's cool, my very first one. Hey, you can actually turn the, the hands on this as well. And the head. The head gear does not come apart, of course, because it's done kind of like a, a keychain. but that's cool. I, I think I'll find a, a good place to, to display this, but this is, <laughs> this is a match as well. So this is also Lloyd the Green Ninja, and this is an alarm clock to these. Oh, this is, uh, yeah, I think these hands will actually we're gonna break that. Yeah, these arms will come up and the hands turn as well. I have also never had one of these. Uh, ah, it lights up too. I did not know that. This is a little bit separate here. I wonder if there's actually a full-on minifig type of head underneath there. I wonder if this can be removed to, to find that, but it's probably kind of a standard that they have for making all of these, but this is pretty cool. I wonder if you can attach anything to these. Oh, and it'll also stand up as well. I didn't even realize that. I thought that the legs, this whole time, I had no idea. I thought the legs were, were static on these. So these actually have a lot more posability than I thought. And then this is a shirt. It's in a size medium. Uh, is that a kid's medium? Because it shouldn't be. It looks like an adult small. If that's considered a kid's medium these days, uh, that says some things. Anyway, this is cool. Looks like a pretty nice quality. No print on the back, but uh, 
my wife might actually be able to, to wear this. I'll try. I'll try it. It might be a little bit small for me, though, but I think it'll definitely work for my wife. This, I, I, mm, I don't recognize which phone this goes to. Uh, I'm assuming it's an iPhone case, though. I know a couple people with iPhones. I think one of them is going to end up rocking a Nia. Hey, perfect. Yeah, a, a Nia case. So this is kind of a hard outer shell and then a silicone insert for it for some shock absorption. This should actually work decently well. All right. I think that's going to get some use. This I have already reviewed. You have seen this. So if you haven't seen this, you can check out my video review of it. It includes a training version of Cole in his new Lego Ninjago movie form with his new crazy hair. And this is just a, a simple activity booklet. You know, just something, something to put in front of especially younger kids' faces to get them to actually use their brains, you know, and not just be looking at phones. You know, books are still a good thing, especially when they're enjoyable to go through as well. Being able to read and stuff like that, it's all good. So especially for, for the youngest kids, uh, I think this is probably not the, the best age range. I would take this down a couple of years for, for starters at least, maybe even to four plus. Definitely the, the material I think is appropriate for five plus uh, at, at least. Maybe not all of it would be understood, but that's okay. You know, push yourself forward. A couple of these uh, mystery packs, there may be more in here but a couple of them, and I, I like the series. If you haven't seen my, my review of the entire series of the Lego Ninjago movie collectible figures, definitely check that out. There are 20 of them in total, and I like a good number of them. Not all of them equally. This is cool. I, I don't even know how this is going to be made available as yet. Oh, you know what? I think this is going to come with the, I might be mistaken on this, I haven't looked it up. I think this is going to come with the Lego Ninjago game, Lego Ninjago movie game. And I'm not sure if I was going to get that game, but I definitely wanted to get the figure. I think that's what this is all about. So this is a kendo training Cole. Uh, Cole, come on now. I had Cole on the brain because of this one over here. Kendo training Lloyd, obviously. And that's great. So. Dang it! How am I going to do that? Because I want to show you this, but I don't do reviews of stuff that I don't pay for, so... I guess that'll just go in my personal collection. And then I'll, I'll let you know when I, when I actually am able to, to buy one. Probably off eBay. This is a watch. I've not seen any of these watches. I've been considering getting a watch. Actually, I've had it on my list to get a watch. I didn't have any... Uh, pick of, of where I would get it from or which series I would get it from. But here we go. I have my first ever Lego watch. I've been wanting to check these out, see how they worked. This has Kai in it. it. has an adjustable band, which, okay, that's how that works. It comes not even completed. So they want you to finish the band yourself. There we go. And Surprisingly, this will fit my huge figure-sized hands. And there is plenty, or wrist, there is plenty of space to spare. So technically, I actually need to remove some links from this. That's actually cool. I, I never expected this to fit onto an adult wrist. Right on. Just adjust it a little bit, but I'll not spend too much time on the watch. But this will definitely find a home in this in this world. See, it works. Just need to take the little uh, little thing that's stopping it off. Cool. All right. I'm actually gonna leave that on for the rest of this video here. More than 1,000 stickers. All right, Let's see if they've got, okay, so this actually has, this is not just a sticker book. I've never opened one of these before. I'm actually going to read through this myself 
to see if they have any interesting information that I didn't know about. Uh, possibly some stuff that will be like background information that may show up, that may not show up even in the movie, that, but that'll give it some more context. And they have some nice prints. Yeah, look at this, page 25 and no stickers yet. Oh, okay, so they want you to put the stickers there. That's how it works, okay. I just have never opened one of these up. I thought that these were all just books of stickers and, and that was the main thing, but they're actually set up like activity books. And I will most likely myself be using some of these stickers, find some places to use them in my city if I can. Wow, some of these are pretty nice looking. These are all taken straight from the movie too. All full CG. Ah, Destiny's Bounty, it's a beautiful thing. Different parts of the mech there. I can actually see some pretty good details and stuff. Yeah, see, I always thought that these were just books that were just all pages like this, just all stickers, all sticker sheets, with maybe just a, a little bit of stuff in the beginning. This is cool. I will definitely be using these, as many of these as I can, especially the more generic things around New Jang City. Sweet, 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 sweet. <laughs> That's cool, awesome. And uh, based on this, I think I'm actually going to, oh my goodness. <sighs> oh, this is great. Ah, So I only use of things that are considered official Lego decorated pieces and you know, printed pieces and stickers in my Lego city. So to be able to get this much stuff is just fantastic. This is a gold mine. There is so much value to this, to me. You don't even know. And you, you probably won't even be able to understand just how valuable these two pages are to me. Just to have so many additional stickers that I can use. I mean, some of these have faces on them. Some of those can be used in different contexts, but some of them have other objects or symbols and things. I am definitely now going to go look at other uh, sticker sheet activity sticker collection books like this from DK books and see what else they have available because this this is completely eye-opening to me these are extras complete wow completely eye-opening to me wow 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 I mean I've paid decent money for some sticker sheets actually on oh, that's so useful on on bricklink you know just to get certain looks ah I love it. And more, gosh, incredible. Wow. So for me, that may actually end up being the most valuable thing, something that out of this entire box, like to adding to my, my life experience. Totally unexpected. Many thanks for that. This, okay, advertising the Lego Ninjago uh, movie game. Which, like I said, I probably would not be getting for myself. So, sets. Ah, only at Walmart and Lego stores. Okay, I did not realize that the, je the Flying Jelly Sub was a Walmart retailer exclusive. I bought mine off shop.lego.com, you know, Lego shop at home. But it's great to get a spare of this because for my Lego City, I want to have more of the head pieces for this jelly dude here. Also, these parts are useful. I'll use those around uh, industrial things in my city. This canopy piece will definitely end up in a planetary defense force related thing around my city. Getting more of these chains is cool in the transparent color. And there's, you know, there's uh, sand blue in here, which, you know, I like all the sand dot 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 colors. Wow. The Green Ninja Mech Dragon. This is great. Um, there are just so many parts in here in so many cool colors. And yet, the dragon itself looks so cool. Of course, I've done a full review on this already. You can check that out. But it was going to pain me to no end to take this thing apart for its parts, to use its parts. I mean, things that I want to use from this come all the way down to the to the level of just that book front piece that's used here as a heads-up display. And also these sand green colored 
skeleton or droid arms on, on the front used for that. Like small details, you know. So to take this whole wonderful thing apart just for those parts was going to be difficult for me. I'm going to be able to get those parts right out of this set. And those will be used in custom creations in the future. The Lightning Mech is here. That's a piece that I definitely wanted to use. These things are great antennae. Uh, not sure if by the time this video is up, you will see my review of this. I'm not sure if it'll be published because I try to do things a little bit in advance. Uh, but once it is up, I'll, uh, I'll provide a little card to link you over to the full review of this. If it's not available, then uh, just wait for it because it's definitely coming. This is one of the one of the major sets now this is jay's vehicle each each ninja has, has gotten a vehicle or craft uh, cole's one has yet to be announced officially in full size and the last looks like this is the last thing in the box here is another garma man mech and i did not realize that this was a target stores exclusive uh, i got mine where did i get mine from I think I got it from Target. Was it Target or the Lego store? I don't remember. Oh, this is one. This is one that uh, I actually got off eBay. That's what it was. Yeah, this was one that went back and forth across the country a couple times due to a shipping mistake. I did a review on this. Uh, if it's not up yet, it'll be up very, very soon. It's been uploaded. I'm not sure if it's been published as of the time of the, the publishing of this video here. But you can check that out. I actually did not like the set myself on the whole, but it does have a lot of useful pieces, including these vehicle roof pieces that I use all the time in my custom uh, cars and trucks. So it has those, the short version, the traditional version in black. It also has the longer version, like the, uh, the taxi used. Uh, I think there's like a, a Volkswagen bus style thing in the Lego City uh, garage and car wash that they did at one point. Um, mostly these have been done in white. I think I've got some in red, but to get them in black is valuable to me. And also this has a number of gunmetal gray colored pieces in it. So I'll be able to harvest those pieces from this and you will see those showing up in custom creations over the next year or so, which will ultimately go into the, the city as well. And, you know, even some, some smaller things. So I'm very thankful. Oh, yeah, these pieces as well. I, I have not used these yet. Um, yeah, that's another one over there. These more squarish fenders. I've not used them myself in custom creations. I want to, though. I've gotten some of them in a couple colors, but I want to figure out good ways to use those that I'll be happy with. So I will definitely be using these ones from here. Wait, there's more. One last little thing in this box and then that's truly it hey bonus stickers inside sweet <laughs> uh, Lloyd Garmadon evil dad from Scholastic let's see so this is this is a short story book yep pretty straightforward the text isn't too small let's see if this says recommended ages on it because I noticed that or the text isn't too large I, I usually would expect a little bit larger text in something of this level you know with so little writing in it but simplified version of some backstory not going through the actual movie itself just backstory to it and then it just has these stickers in the back which are from characters from the movie. So it doesn't have any of the, the really cool ones, really useful ones for me personally. But that's that. Obviously, I am super excited about these stickers in here, which I did not, I never, I never saw myself in a million years getting excited about a sticker sheet in a modern, modern book. You know, I liked the ones in the Lego Ideas books from the old days. Yeah, I've shown those before, but I just didn't think they would do stuff like that anymore in ways that I would that I would really like. So this has opened my eyes. Let me move this box out of the way and get kind of an overview shot of everything. Oh, there's more. Yeah, another figure. Thought there might be more of those. One more. I'll take it. 
I didn't see this stuff. So I, I, have a, I have a feeling some of this was supposed to be at the top. So congratulations, two tickets. I'm not gonna go there, but that's okay. What is this? Special thank you to our partners. Oh, okay, so this is telling you where all the stuff came from. So the, the company that puts, or that put this particular box together that represented themselves as an agent of Lego when they were first contacting me and <laughs> that uh, want me to tell you that all the stuff came from Warner Brothers. They have all the, the contacts, they make all the contacts with all the actual manufacturers. So this is showing you where all those manufacturers or, or their, uh, their official uh, uh, social media handles and such, what those are, and giving you the, the names of them. So if you are interested in any of those, you can check them out so you know where all this stuff is from. And then there's this. Top secret, okay. They, they actually did a pretty decent job of hiding it. I don't know if that was their intent, but it ended up getting hidden down below. I'm gonna open this in a way. I'll allow it to still look like it's sealed if I want to put it back. Since it's supposed to, maybe it's not supposed to be for me. Ah, so I need to go to the Lego Ninjago movie translator. There we go. Nin okay, Ninjago language translator to reveal your secret message. And I need to decode this. Okay, that took a little bit of time going letter by letter searching for the symbols, but it says from the top, the largest model, next line, used in the film is, next line, the Lego Ninjago, next, movie logo containing, next, 40,006, next, 130, next, seven bricks. So that's the secret message. Okay, the largest model used in the entire movie is the model that they used for this here. Now, I guess that's because a lot of the stuff in the background is actually not made with real Lego stuff. So there's the lot of it. Thanks goes out to all the folks who work together and the different companies that work together to put these things together to send out to folks like me and other YouTubers and bloggers and such, all under the umbrella of the Warner Brothers Consumer Products Group, something like that. But yeah. They sent me this stuff. The reason that I accepted it in the first place is they sent it with no strings attached and actually a mandate to be transparent about it. So I really appreciate that. There's nothing that came with it saying, we need you to do the following type of content with it. We need you to use such and such, say such and such for such and such amount of time and all that. There was none of that. It was just make sure your viewers know that this was sent to you for free so nobody gets in trouble good and uh, have fun with the stuff so i will i will make sure that as much of this gets used as possible stuff that i'm not able to use i'll be sure to pass on to folks who can and before i close out i'm going to open up this bag put that figure together right now why not only a handful of pieces and I'm also going to open oh hey this is actually uh, this feels like I was gonna say it feels like the better quality stuff like it's a little bit shinier than I'm used to for these non mainline non set figures but looking on the back I can see that it is the I believe it is made from the uh, the contract factory in China just a, just a little bit down relative to some of the other Lego produced stuff, but it's still, I mean, it's still an official figure and it's still good stuff. It's exact same quality as you'll find in the collectible minifig. So this is Kendo Lloyd and it also comes with his hair piece, which is sweet because I actually like that hair piece. I like it a lot better than the original one that they had for the show, or at least the most recent one that they had for the show. And I like that, that helmet piece as well quite a bit. So that's going in the collection and why not open these since at the very, very least I want to use them for their components 
for stuff in my own Lego city. So they're gonna get open no matter, oh sweet. If there was any, if, if they had sent one, if there was one that I could have asked for to get as a spare, it would have been this one, the angler, because I want a spare of that piece right there to put into my zoo. So this is, this is perfect. Just perfect. Ah, satisfying. And it also comes with, that's a pretty cool face as well. No alternate face on it. But it also comes with this three long bar piece in gunmetal gray and also the spiked mace, I guess, end piece sticks onto a bar. And that is gunmetal gray, a little bit uh, kind of satin in its finish, but also good pieces. So yeah, this could not possibly have been better for me. Look forward to integrating that into my zoo. Got two more of these to go. Appreciate you sticking with me all this time. This is a pretty cool one as well. General number one. Because she has this pretty fantastic vinyl sheet that gets split into two. Oh, and she, that's right, she comes with the boba. The bubble tea piece, which is another piece that I really want a lot of. So that's a that's a major part that if I could have asked for. Spares, I would have asked for that one in particular. This goes down first, this goes down second to form kind of a collar. And I will find some sort of use for these as well, because they're really interesting. I think they're pretty. I might actually use them in my zoo as well, in the aquarium just to represent, you know, sea life down at the base. That would be kind of cool, right? Kind of overlap them like this, make them look like some nice, thin, translucent, kind of ethereal, soft coral. That's a useful headpiece as well. You know, that can be used on just regular city, city folks. So look for her. She'll eventually be showing up. That face will eventually be showing up in my city for sure. And this hair piece is interesting because for her, it's intended to go across the face like this but you could also bring it around like this, you know, and it looks a little bit more normal, perhaps. That's a relative statement. So that's her, and then I have just one last figure to open up. Any guesses what this last one might be? I don't, I don't have any guesses. Ah, it's Garmadon, okay. So thankful as a spare of this piece which is interesting in gunmetal gray and this in black you know i will find uses for these because this could look like a fan shroud or something like this could definitely be used especially in in such a, a striking color that that's not specific to anything this could definitely be used in some creative ways i think I should look for opportunities for that and having a spare immediately means I don't have to worry about taking down one from my collection to start looking for options. So otherwise, he's a pretty straightforward version of Garmadon and I don't remember if that goes up or down. I think that goes up. And this goes at the top of it like so. Yes. Sweet. There you go. That's the stuff. I've got a lot of stuff to put away. Some sets to open up to harvest parts. I look forward to the end of this current release season. I'm getting through it pretty quickly, but once it is complete, then I'll start putting some of these extra parts to good use. Thanks again to all the folks involved. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support, which has allowed me to get the kind of visibility to get access to stuff like this. And I'm gonna continue working to deserve your support. So I will be working on my next video and get that up as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.